Yeah. Okay. okay, I guess I'll just wing it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, obviously this is a big day for Kylie Fitz. He will where he's what college he's decided to go to. So without further ado, um, I made his mom and dad set up with him for support. But this is Kylie Fitz and his dad Matt and his mom Isabel. First, I want to thank everyone for coming. It means a lot that all you guys came and supported me for my decision. Um, I want to thank all the schools that are involved. Uh, you know, you build relationships with all these coaches, and it and it and it makes the decision so much harder um, talking to these coaches, especially before I came in. And I'm confident I know where I'm going. And um, I want to thank uh, my parents, my family, my two brothers for being my, my biggest supporters, my number one fans, and back me up wherever I go. Um, and then lastly, um, all you guys know, I gotta give all glory and honor to uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, he's, uh, he's the reason, he makes this everything possible. Um, he makes what I'm about to do possible, my, what I've done these past four years possible with his love. And uh, you know, with that, um, uh, wherever college I go to, I'll give all glory and honor to him in everything I do. Um, so with that said, the school that be glorifying God at will be UCLA. So I'm open up to any questions. Can we get an A clap? <laughs> Kylie, what did they do in the last month or so since the situation at USC to convince you that was the right <clears throat> Um Well, to be honest, um, during the year, um, I always looked across town and, and saw and saw how much fun they're doing. I was kind of, almost kind of jealous and. Um, and but the, in the back of my mind, I was like, it looks fun to play there. But you know, I was just going to go through with my college decision and everything. And I mean, to USC. And, but I believe everything happened for a reason. And um, and after, when that whole incident happened, you know, UCLA was the first coach to call. Uh, uh, coach Angus, the D-line coach, called right away. And we had a good talk. And then um, and then uh, went on my official visit and just fell in love with the school. Everything about it. And uh Talking with uh, Coach Mora and and building the relationships with all those coaches, I believe that those are the greatest coaching staff in the in the nation right now, and and uh, I believe UCLA is on the rise and going to do big things. How much did um, US what you, happened with USC um, influence your decision not to go go with the drugs? Yeah, um, well, um, I kind of told them that. Um, this decision isn't going to be based off um, how I feel about that incident. I told them that this decision had nothing to do with how I felt after. Um, this decision was just the best school for me, and I believe you saw it was the best school for me. So, Kylie, what's next? You enroll in, in March and start um, practice? March 30th, April 1st, I start, and then I believe April 5th, I start spring ball. Get right to it. You said you were talking to the other coaches just prior to entering the room. Yeah. You said those were tough calls? Yeah, because um, they're all really respectful. I mean, that's what made it hard. You know, like I said, you build relationship with the, relationships with these coaches, and and it's, it's like you're breaking up a friendship almost. And it's, it's hard, but um, I'm really blessed that, they, um, that they're really respectful and respecting my decision. Tyler, just to be perfectly clear, what was the situation... Did you get home from Army and learn that you couldn't enroll early? What, how did that timeline work? Um, actually, I was, um, me and my mom were out shopping for dorm stuff. And um, my dad calls and I say, I got some bad news for you. And after that, I mean, it, it really hurt inside. But um, I believe like everything happened for a reason. And, and they just, and they um, 
So told Matt, can I come early? And, uh, and coming in early was really big for me to start spring ball and, and earn my respect right away. So they spoke with your father first? Yeah, they, uh, Ogeron uh, called my dad and uh, told him the news. And uh, my dad called me and <coughs> told me I didn't believe him at all. And, and he said, Are you serious? And I, I mean, uh, my heart dropped. And But um, but I'm excited right now. And I believe UCLA is the best place for me. And I'm just, I'm just, I'm just excited to enroll and get ready. Tomorrow could be a big day for UCLA. Eddie Vanderbilt is one of the guys mm-hmm. looking. Have you talked much with him? Um, yeah, um, uh, we talked at the Notre Dame visit a lot, and uh, kind of we kind of had like the same similarities that we look at the schools. And um, I think uh, if we could get him and another couple guys, um, we'd be top five class in the nation. Will there be any um, extra motivation when you play SC over the next? Um, <laughs> To be honest, probably. You know, um, <laughs> I mean, I, I respect all the coaches, and uh, I think they're a great school. But there's going to be that something inside of me that's going to push me a little harder that game. Did you have any inkling throughout the recruiting process that they ever warn you to say these guys commit? We might have to push till June, or was this totally by surprise? At this it was time? totally surprise, and that's and that's what really hurt me. I mean. I feel like they, they knew before, and um, I wish they would have told me before maybe that, that would have like, I don't know, these things, but it's just so sudden. I was just so ready to enroll, and uh, I mean, that's what kind of hurt. What's been the reaction of um, the guys you got to know who were USC commits, and what's been the reaction of the guys you know that you're going to be joining now at UCLA? Um, all the USC commits, um, they've been always texting me, and we, we've uh, remained friends and through all of this, and they've just been wanting me to come back and everything. And, you know, it's tough because I've been with, the, with those guys for almost a year, and it's tough. Um, I won't be playing with those guys and stuff. But um, you know, t- talking with uh, talking with Aldridge Massington, I kind of went through the same thing with me. You know, he kind of helped me through it, and uh, and uh, talking with other guys. Um, Players right now, Xavier, Sofia, went the offensive lineman for UCLA. Uh, I just talked with them. I felt uh, more confident with my decision. Are we good? Did, oh, go ahead. Did you um, make a trip to USC this last weekend? Like yes, what, I did. And uh, what was what was the purpose of that? And what did you? Take away from it. Um, well, before the, my Utah visit, they told me um, that they really wanted to see me one more time because they wanted to see me during, during the week. But um, I had work, started work, and uh, and so Sunday after my visit was the only time they could uh, see me. So they told me to come up. So I did, and uh, talked with Kiffin, and uh, I just told him that I'm past everything, and um, let's just move on, move forward with things. And uh, and he did, and we talked. Kind of went to, to the basics of they recruited me and what's really about USC and, and um, you know that, that went good and, and talking with Ogeron and uh, it was really good talking with them but um, after that I just I don't know I kind of knew right after that that UC, USC is a great place but UCLA is better. Kylie, was there something that Coach Mora or something about the Bruins program that really just stood out for you? That was the you know sealed the deal for you. Yeah, um, I mean, a couple years ago with New Highs, I didn't I didn't see the passion or anything, and, and you go on this visit and you see the way they're playing, and they're just much tougher. And, and with Mora, um, I just know he's going to do great things with them and with everyone, and uh, and uh, Coach McClure and and. Uh, I built a relationship with him, and, and he going through like the scheme and everything. I just feel UCLA is the best fit for me. And now your parents can watch you, right? Short yeah. trip over there. Yeah, that was, that was the main reason with uh, Notre Dame and Utah. I just I wanted to stay in California. I mean, I was trying to get past the fact that that past the factor about um, distance and everything. But I thought about it. I was like, I got the be- best school in my backyard. And,
good? Okay, if anyone needs like inter individual interviews with Kylie, you want to just sit, stay up here for a while? Yeah, Are you yeah. okay with that? Yeah. All right, you need anything? Bathroom, water, no. anything before you do that? Okay, and then if you guys need individual stuff, do your thing. Otherwise, hey, Kylie Fitz. Thanks everyone for coming. God bless. Yeah, no problem. I'm going to go look outside. You can hear that mural we just said here. And just see how quiet it is. If it's quiet, I'll move out there. If it's not, we'll just let it clear here. You're not allowed. You have to be over 12. Are you over 12? No.